So do you want to be able to earn more super coins come season seven just by playing Money in the Bank? Well, if so, you came to the right place because I'm going to show you how to do that. Obviously, they are getting rid of contracts come season seven. Contracts will no longer be a thing with Money in the Bank. I know they've been around for the longest time now, you know, since season three. But uh, yeah, contracts are going to be completely gone and every currency is now just going to be converted into one currency, obviously, called Super Coins. So this trick, this glitch, this method, whatever you want to consider it, that I'm about to show you here for Money in the Bank in WWE Supercard is going to help you step up your Money in the Bank game and it's going to allow you to earn the most possible Super Coins that you could get through Money in the Bank. But before I get into going over the tips, the tricks, and whatever else that I offer here in the video, make sure you guys do smash that like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver. If you're new to the channel and want to help me get to 24,000 subscribers, uh, make sure you subscribe it up. You guys are not going to want to miss out on any Season 7 content coming here to the channel. Just trust me, there's going to be pack openings, freebie pulls, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell turned on as well. So this way, you receive all notifications here for the channel but anyways guys without further ado let's finally dive into the tips and tricks and yeah you guys know the story by now let's just dive into it so if you're somebody that let's just say is struggling with money in the bank if you're somebody that can't make it to the top every single time because you know maybe your deck is just weak or you know maybe your cards are just very unbalanced well all you guys simply have to do here is just balance out your deck. That is right. If you're running a deck like this, let me make sure I have all my best cards in here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So if you're running a deck like this, as you guys can see, you know, it's fairly balanced for the most part. There is a couple cards that will throw this deck off, such as this Xavier Woods SummerSlam 20 single. And then you got this Rey Mysterio uh, Elemental Event Pro. You know, these stats obviously are much different from cards like this, where, you know, I mean, look at the stats you know on this card compared to a card like this or like my Xavier Woods for example as you guys can see the stats don't even come close so the key to actually making it to the top more and being able to earn more super coins is just by balancing out your deck it's literally as easy and as simple as that you just have to balance out your deck and in case you guys don't know what I mean by that well you guys are going to want to use all cards of the same tier and of the same type you're not going to want to mix pros with singles or singles with pros you guys are literally going to want to use all cards around the same stats so make sure you are using cards that are you know just all pros or all singles of the same tier you don't want to mix them up when you start mixing pros with singles that's when it really unbalances the deck and that's when you're going to have such a hard time making it to the top every single time for money in the bank and of course if you make it to the top every single time you're gonna be earning more super coins because then you get that double that bonus at the end for actually making it to the top and completing it so you are gonna want to use this method by balancing out your deck so I'm gonna go through this right now I'm gonna balance this deck out completely um, you know I would recommend not using lower tier cards because then you're not going to be getting a lot of super coins that way but what I recommend you guys do is if you have all higher tier cards of a certain thing like let's go into my elementals I don't know if I could actually balance this all out because of yeah I think I'm actually short a lot of cards so I probably won't be able to balance this out uh, you know completely I might actually just have to stick with the deck I have because I have been training a lot of cards away to level up other cards and stuff like that so since this deck is probably the closest says I could get it to being balanced let's just dive into a money in the bank game right now and I'll show you how easy this is these other cards down here shouldn't affect the deck too much they are unbalancing the deck don't get me wrong but they shouldn't affect it too much since I only have like you know just a few of them that are really just throwing off the deck and making it unbalanced so let's dive into this but yeah try to balance out your deck use all Royal Rumble singles if you have them use all Royal Rumble pros whatever you guys have 
just make sure you're using all cards of the same tier and of the same type because like i said mixing pros with singles is not a good thing to do it's going to unbalance the deck and then you know sometimes you don't even get your best cards either so the problem is if you do have like you know pros and singles mixed in sometimes when you get like closer towards the top like say you get to the middle here uh you know you'll be stuck with that single but then you'll be going against pros and you're not going to be able to beat those so that is going to you know cost you from actually being able to make it all the way to the top that's why i said using a balanced deck is the best way to go about doing this and that will allow you to make it to the top every single time therefore earning you more super coins once we do get season seven and oh who is excited for season seven by the way by everything that i've been watching from other creators with the early access uh it looks promising okay so we actually did lose that one there um that's why it does help having a completely balanced deck but uh, yeah, everything for season seven so far that I've seen looks very, very promising. I mean, seriously, I'm excited for the on-demand play where you could play any PvP type at any time. That is something I am really looking forward to come season seven. That's probably the thing I'm most excited for. I'm also really excited for the new super move thing that we have and the auto play where it automatically plays every single thing for you. I think that's cool. I do think the timer does go a little too slow for that though. I think they should make it go a little bit faster because the autoplay from what I've seen does appear to be a little bit too slow in my opinion and that's not something I really care for I like things where I can just breeze through it fast even if I have to step away from my phone for a little bit you know so if they adjust that just a little bit I think it will be perfect I think autoplay could definitely be a perfect thing um, I'm really looking forward to war games uh, we don't know what war games is gonna look like yet we got no previews on that but war games does look promise or does sound promising I should say uh, and uh, what about the new tier as well guys we got swarm biomechanical and we also got behemoth behemoth is going to be the top tier in the game and oh my goodness these cards look beautiful uh, i mentioned it in my last super card video my favorite tier is swarm just because the design just looks so cool i love the flies and that giant fly on the card um and then you got like the little uh, nest thing in the background it's so cool i it, it reminds me of nightmare tier a lot it's like a nightmare 2.0 as i stated in my last video so i'm really looking forward to that and uh yeah whatever else season seven has to offer you know i'm sure we're going to be getting uh, you know more new stuff as well hopefully some new events too that's something that will be cool come season seven but we'll have to see with that um i did hear that they're going to be bringing team roadblock back for season seven they did mention it in one of their articles that they posted don't remember which one but i really wish they would just you know not bring team roadblock back it's such an annoying uh game mode but uh, anyways whatever it is what it is season seven sounds promising and of course let me know guys uh, what you're looking forward to the most come season seven and as you guys could see there I did make it through that game pretty dang easily you know if my deck was completely balanced I wouldn't have even lost at all I literally would have just you know would have been a clean sweep would have made it right to the top without failing or losing any matches but yes balance out your deck guys that is the key here make sure you're using all pros of the same tier or all singles of the same tier and that will allow you to make it to the top every single time and that will also allow you to earn more super coins come season seven but anyways if you did go on to enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on the notification bell as well to join the notification squad and to help me get the 24,000 subscribers but anyways i do hope you you all have an awesome rest of your day or night. Catch y'all later. Take care. And of course, peace out.